My name is Mindy Chago. I am the market manager for Saturday in the Park. All right, oh, so yeah. we got we got sanitizer. Yep, hand sanitizer. Where do you want it? Everyone gets So we got 30 some vendors. So yep. you just point them to you. You'll tell them where to go. Yep, tell them where to go. So the first time, the first time they had this, we I uh, sold out by 9:30. Did fit over 50 pies. I do uh, pies. I do uh, pot pies, and I do soups. And yeah, I come every year now. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Meet a lot of great people. Oh my God, they're wonderful. This Saturday in the Park event is just fabulous for residents to come and see what our neighbors are making and growing. We are at Lavender Farm in Plymouth. We have 6,000 plants in the ground. We are hoping to promote agritourism. So Chobani is so happy to be a sponsor of Saturdays in the Park with Chobani. It's a long-standing tradition for both us and for the Norwich community. We're so happy to be out here today giving away some free yogurt and seeing all the people that we missed over the last few months. Uh, missed a few community events. We're always uh, happy to be in downtown Norwich and giving away free yogurt and giving back to the community in a safe way. Hi, um, um, my name is Alba. I'm actually from Virginia and I'm here helping out Mindy and Tracy Chago. And um, this is just a great event. We came last year and I'm helping out this year. So welcome, come, come on by. Hello everybody, we're Indy Acres Farms and we sell homemade bread, jerky and organic eggs. We joined this event for first year this year and we're real excited to be part of it because we love all the small vendors and how everybody is working together as a team. <laughs> He's always paying. Thank you so much. Hi there, we're Robin and Brandy, part of the Three Chicks Custom Creations. We make comfort masks. So our comfort mask is so that they're not have any ears involved. So when it you're just socially goes distance. Yes, when you're socially distanced, you can just pull it down. If you have a break at work, you can just go like this. Someone comes to your desk. <laughs> you just pop it back up. Business Improvement District. And I, I'm Pete Lennon. 
uh, from New Berlin. The Harvest Market is one of our hidden gems, I think, of, of our city. And especially this year, it's just been a great thing to be able to still host and have people get out and attend and support local merchants. We're still keeping our safety, keeping our distance, but you know, we can still come out and see each other and say hi. And I absolutely agree with everything that you've said. It, uh, this is why we live up here. This is what makes Central New York absolutely special. I've lived all over the world, moved back here because of events like this and people like this. It's just one of my favorite times of the year. Was that it? You like kids? So the vision for this was to stay in town, to stay in our community, to stay local. It's important to shop local, to stay local, to support our local crafts, and these are parents. These are people taking their kids to basketball that we all say hi to, that we all know that need this support, that are supporting their families from this. Most of these are crafts that they, um, that they do as a career. So to me it was important to have this to stay local and to have people join. We were leaving town on Saturday mornings to go to um, other joining communities to see what they had to get all of our fall needs and thought that this park is so beautiful and this town is so beautiful that we should have it right here for us to go to. So this is the fifth year. Um, we have Chibani as a sponsor and as well as NBT backs us on this and is a huge pivotal moment. Um, the bid also supports us and we're under their umbrella as well so they are always here to support us and help us on our day-to-day -day tasks. We get here early in the morning, we set up the tents and tables for most of the groups and the businesses and then throughout the morning in the next hour or so you'll see that more people will come and start setting up things. and. I think this year has been especially tough because of what's going on in our world in 2020. So this is going to be a great venue for people to social distance still and to communicate with each other but to see each other and know that we're all okay still. I'm excited for you guys to be here and it's going to be another amazing successful Saturday in the park this year.